by spring of 2019, March or April, the final assault will happen on God's law and God's people. As I stated back in this video I did on December 15, 2018, after seeing a video by SDA pastor David Gates, the Seventh-day Adventist Church has now become openly visible as one that harbors false prophets in these last days. Worse yet, all of the leaders, including David Gates, are government-approved agents of the United States government, which all students of prophecy know to be the second beast of Revelation, that hates and will soon kill Christians in large numbers for Rome. And just so you know, these SDA leaders are also builders of the long-prophesied image of the beast in Rome. They are doing this by emulating the Vatican's church and state structure via their 501c3 contract with the U.S. government, just as prophecy said they and all the fallen churches would be doing in these last days. But do you recall what David Gates said in his video, even at the doors, that he posted on October 17, 2018? In his sermon, he reapplied the 1,260-year prophecy that Jesus prophesied would happen when the Vatican's Inquisition was to go forth killing God's people between the years 538 A.D. to 1798 A.D. Gates changed a prophecy of Jesus Christ that was declared to reveal a specific event in time that cannot be reapplied and certainly cannot be redefined outside the twice-given prophetic definition wherein a day equals a year in prophecy. Gates stated, as does Rome, that the 1,260 years actually equal to be 1,260 days instead. He even went so far as to give a date for his prophetic event. Not outright, of course, because in so doing, it would openly declare him to be a false prophet on day one by all those that read Bibles. He merely gave the starting point of September 24th, 2015, when the Pope spoke to the U.S. Congress, and instead of counting forward 1,260 days to give what we all know is the date he is really preaching here as the day of fulfillment. He instead said that Rome would return three and a half years later in the spring to destroy, just as they did in 66 AD when they visited Jerusalem the first time and then returned in 70 AD to destroy it. He twisted a prophecy about 1,260 years to make it appear as a parallel to his Vatican-approved prophecy of 1,260 days. But herein lies the problem. Counting forward from September 24, 2015, we come to the exact date of March 7, 2019, that David Gates knew all along was the date his prophecy must come to fruition. I would have posted this video much sooner had I not been dealing with many tech issues the last three weeks, as many of you know. But suffice it to say... As I stated back in December 2018, when I made the first video to show that which Gates was preaching cannot happen, as you cannot change the Bible or even prophetic events, because Christian prophecy is absolute. It can't be changed. As I said back then, I repeat now, David Gates is a false prophet, because no matter how he tried to hide it, he set a date for a prophetic event. All one needs to do is add 1,260 days to his so-called starting date of September 25, 2015, and you can see he has boldly been exposed. All students of prophecy know that when someone gives a date for a prophetic event after 1844, when all dated prophecies were prophesied to end as per that which was penned in Revelation 10, 6, we know by using biblical jurisprudence now that this man, David Gates, of the Seventh-day Adventist Church is indeed a false prophet. Thank you for watching. God bless. <laughs>